Hello everyone, it's Janet here with a video at last. I'm sorry I've been missing in action, just kind of lost my mojo for a while and took a little break and now I've got my craft room all cleaned up and organized and ready to go again. I just completed this little project. Um, we're going to a tea party tomorrow for some very good friend of mine and her and her mom and me and my girls have had a lot of tea parties and gone to a lot of tea houses so the tea part is very appropriate and they are having a tea party for her. So my gift for the little baby is actually a really nice child's tea set and also some clothes and that's all wrapped up ready to go. And so I did make a little teapot card. This was just using the silhouette right off of there. Put a little spray on top and some stickers that say baby girl. Real simple but love the way it came out. And then I made a little baby shoe and altered it up and it, it'll be able to hold a photo of like the baby. I put in a little photo of a couple, a little baby and a little girl playing tea party and I just changed the color to pink so that it would fit in with my theme. So, But she could add a picture of the baby later and use it as decor in the nursery. So I used a little shoe that I got a set from TJ Maxx and it had this little um, Disney design on the front but I didn't want that so I covered it with two layers of eyelet underneath this pink really pretty pink lace and then some of this little rosette trim that came from the new packs from Michaels and then another pink trim and pink lace under that trim there and a little bow and a little wild orchid craft rose in the back there and I put the shoe so that I won't be gluing it right onto the package I put it onto a hair clip and I just cut just one of these right here and I just went around the whole hair clip with some velvet pink ribbon so that it will attach to the gift like this but then it won't be glued down so it'll be usable and then over the bow I put another chiffon bow and another it's a little heart buckle underneath the little rose and then I just used some little beads that I had it says baby girl and the last name and I used a photo holder that I had had for quite a while and I just stuck it inside the fabric. I kind of stuffed this fabric. It was from Joann's quite a while back. I stuffed that inside the shoe and then up around the photo holder to kind of fill it in and give it a little texture. So that is coming out there and so then the photo holder comes up, has a little chiffon bow and another little rose and then this picture with lace around it that I got. So that is my shoe and I have it so I've got the package all wrapped this is the top of the package and I used uh, a vintage hanky on the bottom there I've got some pearls and I've got some flowers and then I'm just gonna take the shoe right in here and I'll fiddle with it but I'm gonna just use my hair clip and clip it in there so that it won't um, so she'll be able to use it and yet it won't be glued down so that is the package. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and hope everyone has a wonderful new year. Bye!